Uh, pressure. Smoking these gas getting hectic. I put my bitch in the best shit. Wanna act goofy, to stretch quick. Pressure. Smoking these gas getting hectic. I put my bitch in the best shit. Wanna act goofy, to stretch quick. Yo, 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 what it is, what it is, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's Key, and I'm back, I'm in the building with another video, this is your first time here ever at the Key in the Building YouTube page, I suggest you hit that bell for all your notifications to let you know when I do go live and upload videos such as this one, and I got y'all covered, whether it's the Philadelphia Sixers, Flyers, Eagles, and the Phillies, now let's get into it, clap your hands, everybody, Philadelphia, let's go, the Sixers defeat the Miami Heat last night. And after back to back games, 113 to 106, we took an L to the Toronto Raptors, which you shouldn't have lost that game. That's another story for another day. But back to back games, no Joel Embiid, no James Harden. Now, earlier in the day, when I did hear they wasn't playing, I'm like, why couldn't they sit out the night before against Toronto and play in this game? But you know what? No Joel, no James Harden, no problem. The Sixers get it done again, 116, 113 to 106. The man of the hour, Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey was unbelievable last night, especially in that fourth quarter with 13 points in that fourth quarter. Give him a grand total of 28 points. He hit a three down in the clutch and then he blocks Martin shot down at the other end. The, 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 the Wells Fargo sold out crowd was going bananas. Joel Embiid on the sideline as well was going crazy. At one point, the crowd was chanting, Maxi, Maxi. It was phenomenal. Now, the start lineup, I'm not even going to lie. I was concerned. I'm like a struggling Fort Concord Mods doc is going to implement him into the starting lineup, but he actually didn't. It was Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, Matisse Thibel, um, George Niang, and Paul Millsap gets the start. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you. I was like, oh, man, this is going to be suspect. But it actually was pretty good. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the role players off the bench is what we needed in this game. Definitely. Shake Milton off the bench scores 20 points. This is the Shake Milton that we're used to seeing. Don't know why Doc don't want to give him more minutes. But 20 points, solid points off the bench is what this team has needed. You know, our bench has been suspect. But we had to put George Niang in the starting lineup with no Harden and no Embiid. And George Niang didn't do bad as well in the starting role. He had a 15 points as well. Another person who I've been talking about for Games. Furcon Cork Mize came to play last night. 18 points off the bench. This is the Furk that we're used to seeing. Doc didn't give him no minutes. He might put him in a game for a minute or so. Four minutes. He can't do it. Can this be this game he played last night to get him out of his slump? Because if it is, Cork Mize, we need you back desperately off the bench. Welcome back. This is the Furcon we used to seeing. 18 points. Shooting the three, you didn't rely on the three too much. You did go inside a little bit, but this is the points we needed off the bench. Bias Harris didn't do too bad either. He had his moments when he struggled, couldn't find the rhythm. He had a quiet 14 points. He had some buckets clutch in that in that fourth quarter as well. Five guys in double figures is amazing. Again, Maxi 28, Shake with 20, Furkan with 18. Um, Tobias with 14 and Yang with 15. These are the players we need to step up on a nightly basis. Matisse, he drained a couple threes. He actually is getting better with shooting another three. And if he's open, he's going to take it. Um, Melsap, he didn't really do too much. He had five points. DeAndre Jordan comes in the game. I know he didn't really do too much, but he did secure eight rebounds. So overall, this was a great win by the 76ers without their two main superstars on uh on the didn't play last night 
great, great, great comeback because there's no way we was going to come back into the Wells Fargo and had and lose a back to back. So shout out to the Sixers, man, Tyrese Maxey. I'm so glad we got this kid on the floor because he got that heart and that Philly grit that Philadelphia 76ers is all about. He goes to the basket with the high layups off the glass. He gets the and one. He can shoot. He's gotten so much better in the three-point shooting. He has worked on that in the offseason. And moving forward, Tyrese Maxey, man, he is definitely, definitely going to be an all-star one day in this league. And I'm so glad the Sixers got him at the 21st pick, but let me know what you think in the comments of this game. Tyrese Maxey with the 28 points. And as always, guys, I'm in the building. I'll see y'all in another video.